my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Oh, he all my grief has taken and all my sorrows borne. In temptation he's my strong and mighty tower. I have all for him forsaken and all my idols torn from my heart and now he keeps me by his power. But though all the world forsake me and Satan tempt me sore, through Jesus I shall safely reach the goal. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here, while I live by faith and do His blessed will. Oh, a wall of fire about me, I've nothing now to fear. With His manna He my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up to glory to see His blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Amen to Jesus. Amen to Jesus. Happy Sunday morning to all of us, all listening audience around the world. Welcome to our online service, Sunday service this morning. It is well you are joining. The Lord keep you fully blessed in Jesus' name. This is Bishop Taiwa Kinola and the media team of Rema Christian Church. A glorious assembly of Jesus people, where people of power, purity and purpose. It is where you are joining. The Lord will heavily bless you in Jesus' name. Well, just in case I have not said this to you, this is the 3rd of May, the year 2020. And if I have not said it to you, I say happy new month. Happy new month indeed. Now, this is our month of uh, family blessings. Our month, a gracious month of family blessings. Well, I'm aware it's um, a very unprecedented month, unprecedented May, a very unusual May, but all the same, um, to us, it's a gracious month because God is involved. I'm aware that um, is an unprecedented tightness for people around the world, everywhere, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, but all the same, our God rules yet, and is alive forevermore. Now, the word the Lord gave to us at the outset of this month is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. He said, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and he had no sorrow to it. And so I make bold to declare to all my listening audience around the world, again, I say this month, by covenant, you and your family shall be especially blessed with every blessing from the Lord. The Lord God of the old Lord will visit you. The Lord God of the Ola shall put broad smile on the faces of each and every individual represented under your, your abode. The Lord of hosts will touch you and his host shall step into every situation around you and uh, they shall act as spiritual bouncers. Angels of God will bounce away every sorrow in your life and you will enjoy sundry blessings all around. In the name of Jesus. And say, I say again, happy new month. Praise the Lord. Now, this first Sunday of the month, I'm speaking on what I've titled, The Sure Strength of Family Blessings. The Sure Strength of Family Blessings. And I, I am reading particularly this very sweet passage of scripture, Psalm 40, I mean, Genesis chapter 49. I, I would recommend to you that at your leisure, you try and read the entire passage. Genesis chapter 49. But I'm going to 
Hallelujah. I'm going to ensure that um, I select some verses that will serve as a summary of the story I'm about to read. Genesis 49. Now I read verse 1. It said, And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Flip forward to verse 8. He said, Joshua, a Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is the lion's web from the prey. My son, thou art gone up, is trooped down. He couched at a lion. And as an old lion, we shall rouse him up. Verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the Lord giver from between his feet, unto Shiloh come, and unto him shall the guarding of the people be. Unto him shall the guarding of the people be. Verse 22. Let's look at one other family. Joseph. He said, Joseph is a fruitful bough. Even a fruitful bough by the well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. But his bow abode in strength. And the arms of the hand of his hand were made strong by the hands of the Almighty God of Jacob. From henceforth, from thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. Even by the God of thy fathers, who shall help thee? And by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above? Blessing of the deep that lieth under. Blessing of the breast and of the womb. The blessing of the fathers have prevailed above the blessing of my progenitors. Unto the utmost band of the everlasting hill. They shall be upon the head of Joseph. And on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, this morning... And in particular, for the entirety of this month, this whole month of May, I have a directive from the Lord to bless you and your family. And allow me to recommend to you, don't have problem with that. Because um, when a man is chosen, a man is, is, is appointed, a man is elected to bring forth the blessing, if you have problem with that, with that term, server, you have problem with the blessing. I am appointed to bless you. Give attention. Don't be, don't be talking here and there. Don't give 100% attention at this hour. Don't cause distraction. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Now, I therefore ask you to give the Lord your full moment of cooperation. Allow his worth of blessing to be laid fully upon your family. What's your family's name? Mine is Akinola family. All right? And we are seated in our camp today in the, in the presence of the Lord. Because the Lord himself is laying this word upon us. Let me, let me just tickle you for a, a short while. Let me raise this point. You may not have known this. You are a creature of wonder. You. You are a peculiar creature predetermined to be a success story the law who made you made you so take your journey back to the book of genesis now let's make man in our own image after our likeness let them have dominion amen you are carefully assembled in heaven you are honorably delivered upon the earth certainly there's more to you than the ordinary eyes can see there's more to you than the ordinary eyes can see. Take it like that. Just accept that that way. You are not ordinary. You are supernatural. Now, in our text that we read, Genesis chapter 49, that features what we commonly refer to as the blessings of the tribes. The father brought his children together. And he began to bless them one by one. He began to bless them with nobility of you know, distinctive blessings. Now, if you look at verse number one, it was even talking of Naphtali. He said it will be full of rich words, goodly words. 
Joseph a fruitful bough, and so on and so forth. Now, Joseph, uh, Jacob in that place made references to peculiar blessings which have been distilled upon, upon the believers in Christ today. All the tribes of Israel are represented today. The blessing peculiarized in, in Judah or in Jacob are, you know, heaped upon the church today. And that's why Jacob made a mention in verse 21, uh, verse 25, beg your pardon. He said, the blessing of the deep that lieth under. Amen. The blessing of the deep that lieth under. Now, of course, these blessings, which are global, these blessings, which are eternal in their dimensions, were clearly displayed in the life of Abraham. And God attested so to this. He also showcased it. If you flow with me to Isaiah chapter 51, verses 1 to 12, you understand that. Isaiah chapter 51, verses 1 to 2, beg your pardon. He said, He unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the wrong, when, to the rock whence you were hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence you were digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarai that bore you. I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. When you are blessed of the Lord, nothing can be taken away from it. When you are blessed of the Lord, nothing can be added unto it. You can improve on the blessing of God. He said, look unto your father, Abraham. I blessed him and increased him. Amen. God with excitement showcased the power of his blessing. And I will recommend to you God people in your families in whatever the family Omitogo family Adebayo family Abraham Adeo your family Ayori their family Akinola family whatever, whatever, whatever the family name you answer please seek the blessing of the Lord. Seek the blessing of the Lord. Seek the blessing of the Lord. Now, many have sought to be fruitful. Many have sought to multiply. Many have sought to replenish the earth. And they have sought to exercise dominion rights. All without success. Why? Because they sought not after that which is needful. And that which is essential to their pursuit. They want to exercise dominion over diseases. They want to exercise dominion over sicknesses, over ailment, over, uh, over um, uh, uh, the thought of the devil, over magical persecution. But no, they do not succeed because they do not seek that which is essential to what they say they are looking for. They have not sought for the blessing of the Lord. They have, have not yet sought for the blessing of the Lord. Now, pick this, God people. It is the root that determines the fruit. Don't forget that. You must never forget that. Don't you ever forget that. It is the fruit, roots, that determine the, the fruit. The fruits you bear today will be, um, will be decided and determined by the roots. How rooted you are. Or where rooted you are. That goes to show and confirm that it's the blessings of the Lord that give real meaning to any man's life all you are looking for today all that you are you want to have today they are made available in the beloved blessed life and so true blessings enduring glory lasting beauty riches that cannot not be suborned they all come for a man when he is blessed of the lord i'm standing here today as a man chosen for this peculiar hour whatever your family name is whatever your family name is uh, ensure whatever your family name is Unwafe. whatever your family name is benjo whatever your family name is show me what whatever whatever leo adejoro whatever your family name is olushakin Take the blessing in the name of Jesus. Whatever you represent today, Akiyemi family, whatever, receive the blessings of the Lord. That's where we are standing. And that's my peculiar task. That's the reason why I'm alive. I'm a blesser and I'm to bless you. Your head will not reject this blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus. And so fruitfulness 
distinctions of life, health, settlement, victory, riches, and so on are all byproduct of these blessings of the Lord that we're talking about. And that's why all fruits of goodness and mercy are designed to daily chase after those who dwell in the blessings of the Lord. Do you now see where you should dwell? Do you also now, can, can you now see why God is taking us away, you know, to step aside from the, from the distractions of the COVID-19 pandemic and laying or repairing our roots, laying the blessing that can distinguish us to our lives. Now, like I said, um, as recent as the last night vigil, I said, a blessed man is much more advantaged than a rich man. Take it like that. Babe. A blessed man is much more advantaged than any rich man. A rich man is like a lake, but a blessed man is like an ocean. A rich man is like a lake, but a blessed man is like an ocean. Now, lakes may appear big for now. Lakes may appear full for now, but they can dry up any time depending on environmental factors, whether severe or mild. But seas never dry. I remember that's one of the very, very peculiar Asian wisdom and observation that our people made and I observed that also when I was growing up. All those vehicles in those days, you know, the Bedford vehicles that were repaired and rebranded and rebuilt, all right, with woods, they were right there. Um, Ayeko thought that it, the world doesn't like the truth. Or, and then they would say, sea never dry. Now, the truth, you must never forget is seas or ocean don't run dry. Why? They are peculiarly supplied, all right? by the mercy of god all rivers end their journey in the ocean and so a lake may dry up if the environment is harsh if the the, the the dry season is prolonged if the drought is much lake can dry up it may look flourishing now it may look rich now it may look full now water may be there it may also be sustaining economic activity there may be a lot of fishing around it it can dry up Remember Lake Chad. The Lake Chad of today was not the Lake Chad of yesterday. Lake can dry up. It can farm it. It can reduce. But not so an ocean. Now so a rich man may just be an opportunist. He may just be enjoying a window of great for a while. Or in the language of the world, he may just be merely lucky. He just keen to an opening. A just keen to a, a better job or whatever, but that the best that is. But a blessed man is ceaselessly supplied by the rivers of God. A blessed man is ceaselessly supplied by the rivers of God, and that's why for him the windows of grace is perpetually open, perpetually open. And look at you, God people, everywhere you are today, in your company, in your family, everywhere, daddy, mommy. Children, children, grandchildren seated everywhere. You are blessed. You know what upon you I, I command the opened windows of heaven to be perpetually open for you. You are eternally and ceaselessly supplied in the name of Jesus. Oh, you see, that's why when the possession of a rich man is, you know, are taken away from him, at that instant he becomes poor. The moment the possession of a rich man are taken away from him, that moment he becomes poor. And he may never ever fully recover from that experience. And that's why there are so many people who are once, once very, very stinkingly rich. They were, they were, they controlled untold wealth and position and fame and popularity. But now, everybody marvels at their present wretchedness. That's why Yoruba around here in the southwestern part of Nigeria, they will say, Oh, Abere Bolo Adete Odete. You know what? A rich man may be comparable only to a leprous man. If he's singing today, he may not sing tomorrow. If he's dancing today, he may dry up. But the lot of a blessed man is not like that. 
I'm looking at you today. In the name of Jesus, all of you, mention the name of your family. Mention your family name there. Mention your family name there. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. Yoruba man also now has this to say, Ileo Batojo Ewa Lobu Kon, meaning if the palace of um, a king is gutted by fire, it is so that it can be better and much more beautiful. Why? A blessed man is a blessed man. Take it like that. Take it like that. That's why the seriousness of the provision of God for us this month is very, very rich is very very exciting all right it's all encompassing take away the possession of a blessed man and like a magnet more possession will be put to him in mysterious ways mysterious ways the world may not understand it that's why have you not heard it they say the place where the cattle egret washes the cloth you know other birds other dirty birds may not know it now look at me god people in the name of the lord jesus let the mysterious blessing of god locate you in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit now if the possession of a blessed man is accidentally assaulted and taken away it can only be for a short while because the blessing of god will pull back to him what the mysterious blessings of god now uh, you remember we have a case on hand job it sure looked like job was finished at a particular point in time oh yes he was the richest man in the east in those days he feared the, the lord he had testimony he had the name he had the fame he had the position he had the popularity he was rich and famous but he also was blessed but when affliction came it looked like it was finished in the days of his tribulation they, he looked like a faithful man that had now been forgotten he looked like a committed man that had now been forsaken he looked like a, 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 a victim of a conquered conqueror he lost everything he lost family, he lost his children, he lost his friend, he lost his health. Even his wife told him, cause God and die. He lost his wealth, he lost his peace. He was troubled on every side. The enemy said, yes, we have got him. But no, the blessings of God said no. The masses of God said no. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus, those who have ever rejoiced over you, those who have ever chuckled because you dashed your feet against a stone in the name of the Lord Jesus, their laughter will turn into sorrow in the name of Jesus. Because when you are blessed of God, those who look down on you, they are looking the wrong way. And so the enemy thought, yes, we got them. But in the end, he dissed them. In the end, he had testimonies. He spoke the word of God. He knew what he needed to know. And he got double for all his trouble double double for all his trouble i'm standing today proclaiming upon your family get multiple for all your trouble i said multiple multiple blessing multiple blessing multiple blessing for all your trouble in the precious name of the lord jesus they, please don't you ever don't you ever be tempted to want to underplay the position and the status of a blessed man now Maybe I should just ask one question and then we begin to tidy up the ends. What is blessing? You may want to know. What the secret thing behind this thing that we refer to as blessing? Now, blessing, simply put, is a divine empowerment to succeed and to enjoy wellness in all areas of life. Blessing. Is a, is a supernatural, mysterious empowerment that causes you to succeed and to have wellness in all areas of your life. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse, um, verse number 18, it says, Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Now see, there's a power to get a power. By strength shall no man prevail. 
waking up early, too early, sleeping or too late, sleeping too late, don't act together most of the time. It is the blessed of the Lord that stand out. Your family will stand out. Brother, you will stand out. Mommy, you will stand out. Children, you will stand out. Grandchildren, you will stand out. All of you here and me, my friends, my sons and daughters, round the world, my friends, and chosen ones who are chosen to listen to this message, one way or the other, you will stand out. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now, blessing, therefore, is a divine empowerment that establishes the will of God in a man's life. Remember, God said, I know the thought that I think towards you. Thought of peace and not of, of evil to bring you to an expected end. Now, blessing, what is it? It is a mysterious gift of God. <laughs> when he gives it to you, he gives it to you. Hostilities may be generated around you. Protest may be raised. Those who dislike you may whimper. No, but it still doesn't change it. When God gives you, he has given you. The gift on, and calling of God are without repentance. Now, so blessing is a mysterious gift that is capable of making any man to be exactly what God made him to be. What did God make you to be? I tell it out there. Now, he made you to be rich. He made you to be resourceful. He made you to be replenishing. He made you to be healthy. He made you to be triumphant. He made you to be wise and winsome. He made you to be influential. He made you to be ever prevailing over all your enemies. He made you to be properly rooted. Properly rooted. He made you to be dominant in all your standing. That's the who that God made. And the blessings of God is the mysterious gift that gives you the capability, the innate capability, the ability within, the capable and ability that makes you to be exactly what God makes you to be. Is that not the reason why we read in the book of um, Proverbs 10, verse 32, uh, verse 22, it said, the blessings of the Lord, <laughs> it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow to it. Now, those who listen to me regularly, they know how I try to read that because you see, I find an expression and an exclamation in my heart each time I read that. He said, The blessing of the Lord, comma, meaning pause and ponder. See what is offering. The blessing of the Lord, shout for joy and be excited because of the blessing. He said, The blessing of the Lord, comma, it maketh rich. And he added no sorrow to it. And so, when a man or a woman or a family is blessed, they shall one be exempted or free from sorrows of all description, free from sorrow, and two, they shall be full of the blessings of God. Praise the Lord. Now, I want you to recall the historical line of this fact from the life of Father Abraham. So they can enjoy what God is offering you. Recall this. In Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 5. Very very popular. We discover that God called Abraham. And commanded him to leave his father's house of idolatry. And to go to a strange land. Is that not how God called you? Maybe you are Allah would And whatever. He chose you out from that house. From the agnostics, from, from faith beliefs, from those who call themselves slaves. Now God chose you and he called you out. Just like he called Abraham. He commanded him to go to a place that was trained to him. He commanded you to get into the house of God. A place you have never been. Now he knew how difficult it was going to be. He knew it was going to be virtually impossible for him at that age. 75. Who had never left his father's house to so now travel abroad if you like and so for that reason God saw the need for divine empowerment and so he blessed him in that chapter God said I will bless you and make you a blessing in other words I will bless you and leave sufficient for you to, to make you to, I mean, you know, to touch your wall something that you know that is extra not just blessing you can consume alone I will bless you 
and make you a blessing. Now, by reason behind the blessing, the blessing, all right? Remember, we're not talking of ordinary blessing. We're talking of the blessing, the blessing, the one that God gave, the one that God imparted, the one that he inspires, the blessing of the Lord. Now, when a man is blessed with that blessing, he can start life afresh at any age. Maybe you are there, you are retired, and you are pitying yourself. You say, ah, I wish I did this better. Oh, I wish I knew this when I was 40. Don't forget. Now, any man can be blessed and he can start afresh at any age. That was the life of Abraham. He started out at age 75. Hallelujah. He, he, any man blessed can get married and have children at any time. He can begin business at any time and he will see prosper. There's nothing like too late for a blessed man. Nothing like too late. Nothing like too late. Nothing like too late for a blessed man. And so it was the blessing of God upon Father Abraham that empowered him to leave his fathers out of idolatry and start life afresh at that old age of 75. And he made it. You will make it. I don't know the ideas that God has been inspiring over your head and upon your bed at this time of lockdown. Royal ideas, royal idea that God intends to turn to ideals, vision that God wants to translate to mission. I don't know those, those inspiration you have been getting. Now, don't think it's not possible. It is doable. It is possible. You can see make it. Is that not the reason why we've been prophesying that this season shall end in praise? This season shall end in praise. No, so the man Abraham started out, though he was late, as physical man, natural man, we want to uh, paint it. Though he came late, but he became a front liner. He made it. You will make it too in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Now, perhaps certain things are not working as you expect. They are not working the way you, you thought or you planned it. I'm not worried about that. What worries me is, are you blessed of the Lord? Are you connected with the blesser, Jesus Christ? And are you putting your head where the blessing is invoked and laid upon you? You know, blessings are conveyed by words. All these things you think I'm saying to you, but you are blessed, you are blessed. They, I'm, I, we are conveying it. Thoughts are things, words are things. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The word, the word, the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. He sent this word, the word healed them. And the word delivered them from all the oppression. Amen. Now, if something is not been working the way you want, the only thing that concerns me is, are you blessed of the Lord? If your story today is not as it used to be, are you blessed of the Lord? If your prayers are not yet answered, are you blessed of the Lord? Seek to be blessed. Seek to be blessed. And indeed, you will laugh at last. Praise the Lord. Seek to be blessed. And you will laugh at last. Just a word or so and then I'll close. Now we're talking of the sure strength of true blessing. The sure strength or true blessing. Now, when you look at Genesis in chapter number 12, in verse 10, Genesis 12, 10, the Bible says, and there was a farming in the land. Farming in the land, yes. And Abraham went down into Egypt. He went down, oh yes, that's what we read here. To sojourn there, meaning he made his present permanent, so to say, abode in the place called down Egypt. The famine was very grievous. Are you down now? No, I, I'm not worried. I am certain if you are a blessed man, the story will change. Read again. There was famine in the land, just like there's pandemic um, situation in the land. Abraham went to down. Now, he, he, he is not set to go up here. He went down into Egypt and he made his abode there. The famine was grievous. Amen. Now, but Lord, ladies and gentlemen, by nature of the sweat, the sure strength of the of the of the blessing, 
when a man is blessed of the lord no matter the negativity of the circumstances that may come his way he will recover and prosper again he will he will recover and prosper again you are going to recover you are coming out stronger you are coming out wealthier you are coming out better you are coming out better position you are becoming lifted i mean you i'm standing here representing god i'm not representing myself i'm not there's something about about the anointing it stamps you to proclaim the word even if my body doesn't want to sustain it my spirit will be i say you are blessed you are you are blessed you are blessed you are blessed you are blessed amen in all the families around the world all those who who support what we are doing all those who subscribe to the message of triumph all people who are champions worldwide and all our friends who love us who stand with us in the faith of the gospel i say you are blessed everyone opportune one way or the other to listen to this word i say you are blessed all those who are publishing it i say you are blessed amen unfortunately many people not hearing this not internalizing it not capturing it not yet you know making it real in their life they have allowed themselves to be described or defined by their present circumstances they sit down and weep by the rivers of babylon there we sat down and yeah we wept when we remembered zion who told you to sit down who told you stand up stand up you are blessed who told you to weep speak off god said to moses he said why criest thou speak the word of god speak now you don't have to be described or redefined by your present circumstances whatever the lockdown there's no money there's no food or something you don't have to start thinking of that no that ought not so to be the blessing of the lord is not about what you are now not about what you have or you don't have now rather it's about who you are in your relationship with christ it's about who you are in your relationship with christ ladies and gentlemen you have given attention to this word today begin to truly genuinely connect to god who is the blesser have you not heard it he said now thank be unto god who always causes us to triumph in christ jesus always always i mean always all the way he always all the way causes us to triumph in christ jesus amen <laughs> always morning afternoon evening a nice session too he always causes us to triumph in christ jesus. and make it manifest the server of his knowledge by us in every place he make it manifest the odor the perfume of his knowledge by us in every place we are not ordinary now thank be unto god amen well, whatever is born of God overcome the world. This is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. Glory to God. You don't have to grumble. Abraham didn't grumble. You don't have to run back to idolatry, to sin, to voodoo, to old time religion without salvation, to um, juju, to Allah. Far. You don't have to. All that you need to do is to step put with the covenant, to step put with God. And when you are truly connected to him, the blessing will be distilled. I'm going to continue from this thought on Wednesday. Hallelujah. On Wednesday, during the communion service. But meanwhile, that God's word for us at this hour. Don't chicken out. Don't fret. Don't whistle. Don't look down to announce a defeat. You are blessed. All family brought to my life. All family brought in contact with me. I declare and decree you are blessed in your company you and your children after you like i said on um, you know on um on, on friday the night vigil i said the wonder the thrill of blessing is so that it can be captured inside the gen you say grace shall be the peace of our children your children are not where what they are not they will be godly they will turn to god they will serve god they will glorify god that's how it shall be hallelujah today just know family blessing has a strength and i proclaim the same on you today it has been my privilege and honor singular honor to to impart the same on you today you will never miss it forever in the name of god the father god the son 
and God the Holy Spirit. It is well with you. Put your hand together as families there. Come on, let me hear your hand. Put your hand together. Amen. One more time, happy Sunday. It is where you are part of this meeting today. Glory to God. And um, I want to um, please remind you that by the grace of God, we are going to have communion service on Wednesday by 6 p.m. And also by the grace of God, we are going to be continuing to have our uh, everyday moment of uh, divine intervention, 7 p.m. by Zoom and by Facebook, continuing from 7 p.m. tonight. I'll be announcing the remaining part of that program to us also in the evening. Please drive traffic there. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you. Don't forget to continue to live right. This is the best time. It's not a time to backslide. It's a time to show the stuff that have been imparted in you over the years. Bible says a backslider in the heart shall be filled with his own ways. Don't backslide now. Love the Lord. Be fully committed to him. And the blessing, the seed on you shall manifest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, I'm expecting your testimony. I am. God, when he called me, he said, I will never sweat in vain. Along the line, he told me, he said, my word will become a bond. He said, it will not fall ground, down in vain. I have laid the word to your family today. You will see it in the by. by. Hallelujah. So I'm expecting your testimony. If you need further inquiries, you are equally free to let us know. Praise the Lord. And, um, well, I also need to put this to you. That's also very important to note. Praise the Lord. That, um, Today being the first Sunday, if it were to be regular Sunday, we will be dancing before the Lord in great jubilation service, bringing our thighs before the, before the Lord, and um, also redeeming our pledges and our vows, and so on and so forth. But uh, as the case is now, uh, it's not so. And so, but all the same, we rejoice in our God, who so much loves us, amen, who so much um, <clears throat> has giving us everything that pertains unto life and godliness. And so, if you want to follow the Lord to that line of obedience, you, you can drop your thanksgiving offering, not just ordinary offering now, your thanksgiving offering that you are seeing May of the year 2020, plus your generous offerings, your tithes and your vows, and um, other pledges you may have made to the Christ Rema Christian Church account, either on gtb or uba you are free to do that the gtb account is here with me it is the o one two four nine seven twenty ninety nine o one two four nine seven two zero nine nine the lord keep you blessed in the precious name of the lord jesus i want to pray now and i want you to please Come together. The fourth blessing I want to distill is the blessing, the blessing for those who want to give their life to Jesus. That's very important. And then after that, I will speak impartation of blessings to every family. And then after the, after that, we will um, we be in position also to equally um, bless the the oil. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, please come together. If somebody is not yet born again around you or your family or you are listening to this meeting anywhere in the world, please give attention to the word of God at this hour. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you for listening audience around the world. If there be anyone, oh God, that has been appointed for salvation from the foundation of the earth, don't let them be lost in the multitude. Don't let them die before seeing eternal life at this hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus, draw them to yourself. In Jesus' name. Now, I like you, to pray with me. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come unto you. I know that you gave your only begotten son as a Passover lamp. You gave your only begotten son as a lamp made for atonement for me. He died, he shed his blood because of me. If I were to be the only sinner, Jesus would still have died. And so, Father, come into my life today. Jesus, come into my life. I sincerely believe that you are 
the lamp of God that died and was lifted in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray today, let eternal life locate me. Please, as I repent of my sin, purge me of sin. Purge me of immorality and of lying and of cheating and of, of corruption. Purge me of selfishness and self-centeredness. Purge me of pride. Purge me of bitterness. Purge me. And as you purge me, use your, your blood to cleanse me. And I believe in my heart that today is a new day. And I confess, you are today Jesus, my Lord and Savior. I vow I will follow you all the days of my life. Praise the Lord. If you have prayed that prayer, something must have happened to you. A spiritual work happened in your life. Please don't hang and say, oh, my mother is born again. She's a prayer warrior in the church. No. God has only original children. As many as gave their life to him and received them, to them he gave power to become sons. He didn't say to become grandsons. God doesn't have grandchildren. You must be a child of God on your own. I congratulate you if you have done that today. It is well. Now I want to pray for us at this hour. But I feel that like we should pray um, corporate prayers. Families, stand right now. Stand, let's pray. We are going to pray two or three prayers together. In the name of the Lord Jesus, he will say, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for covenant blessing, for position of family blessings upon our family. Mention the family, the Ojela Day family, the Uriabo family, the whatever the family. Mention the name of the family. Mention the name of the family. The, the Adeoye, the Adeba family. Mention the family name right now. Thank God that the blessing has been spoken to me. All those who listen to this. Benga Fashion family. David Ibrahim Paul family. Tokba Ibrahim family. Olushakin family. Olushakin Fawode family. Ambassador E.G. family. Bami De family. Leo Adejoro family. And the host of others who are watching on the larger social platform. The platform of um, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and, and so on and so forth. Thank God for that family. In Jesus precious name. Hallelujah. Number two, you are going to pray very firmly. I break every cause of poverty, every cause of retrogression, every cause of a, a penury in my life and my family. We break it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. We break every yoke, we break every work of the devil right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Rofi sama todo ndalak makato da malava. We pita la do da mai mahasa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Now, like I've been saying it, this is a signature that God gave us many years ago. Many have been healed via it. Many have been taught via it. All right, please be be fully persuaded. Touch my hand. We have seen people who are paralyzed who are healed. I've seen people who were terribly sick who were healed. Destiny have been turned around. Just touch my hand there. I may not have been positioned to touch you physically. But we say day that this sign shall follow them that believe. They shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. I come this morning. As many as are trusting you. Connecting with the anointing of your presence. I confirm. I say you are blessed. Bible says Christ has redeemed you from the court of the law. They made a cause for you, for it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be blessed. Be blessed. In your family, daddy, mommy, children, grandchildren, be blessed. I say be blessed. The evil one will never be able to triumph over you. Let the oath of heaven locate you and cause the manifestation of your expectation. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Every cause of poverty. Every cause of penury. Every cause of retrogression. Every cause of joblessness. Every cause of, of, of lack of settlement. It broke in today. In the name of the Lord. And your hindrance. Every hindrance to your success. Every hindrance to your progress. Every hindrance to your blessing. They are expressly demolished. In the name of God the Father. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus name. You will never remain the same again. In Jesus precious name. Please as families. Let us do this in closing. Lift up 
your oil if you have your oil there in all family this online service as i bless this from here the lord will bless that from there let everybody be anointed let the head of the family anoint everybody before you leave amen father in the name of jesus you said i found david my servant with my only oil i've anointed him the sons of the alien will not outdo or or or, or sort of um, be able to work against him they will not be able to take um adversarial position or advantage over him by reason of the oil i ask oh father that you jump into the bottles of oil that your people are holding forth in faith and as they anoint their, their houses and anoint themselves let them be blessed to you let your mercy spoke, speak for them forever in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit praise the lord please you can anoint yourself and after you sit down you also can send your thanksgiving offering to the account as we have said and so on and so forth praise the lord we will share the grace now and now we anoint my family members a media team and um even a choice pastor a young day that is here with us today may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest by with us all now and forevermore let us all say surely goodness and mercy are following me all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen we are called champions and our mega vision is what to love and to glorify god passionately and by the help of the holy spirit to enthrone jesus christ in the hearts of very many people the world over come on we are going to shout glory when you hear me shouting jesus because jesus is a matching order for the glory of god as i shout jesus you shout glory let the devil hear you let the community hear you and the glory of god will distinguish you come on god people are you ready jesus glory it is well with you in jesus name 